Proverbs 16, verse 9 says this, Pride will destroy a person. A proud attitude leads to ruin. I want to illustrate that for you. I've got a balloon and I've got an air pump. And I want you to think of this balloon as our life. And what pride is, is we get puffed up, right? We get puffed up. And we get puffed up. And what, this is what we look like when we get puffed up. And if you don't want to be ruined, you need to humble yourself and bring yourself down. Humble yourself. But if you keep, if you are constantly full of pride and you're constantly being puffed up, what happens? It ruins you, just like that balloon got ruined. What does it do? What does pride do? It ruins your marriage. What does pride do? It ruins your finances. What does pride do? It ruins your career. What does pride do? It ruins your ability even to be forgiven of your sins and have salvation, a home up in heaven, for eternity. Why? Because pride refuses to acknowledge sin. Pride refuses to confess and repent of sin. Pride always thinks it's good enough and I don't need God or anybody else's help. Just like the Pharisee in Luke chapter 18. Let's go back to that. Luke chapter 18, verse 13 through 14. Jesus described these two. He said, but the tax collector stood at a distance and dared not even lift his eyes to heaven as he prayed. Instead, he beat his chest in sorrow, saying, Oh God, be merciful to me, for I am a what? Much different attitude, amen? Instead of bragging to God through prayer about how great he was and how good he was and he did this and I did that, and this guy, totally different attitude. He said, I'm a sinner. He says, I tell you, this is what Jesus said, I tell you, this sinner, not the Pharisee, returned home justified before God. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. 